Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed from KSG Learning and I'm excited to meet you today. I'm currently teaching GCSE and A-level science at KSG Learning. Now let's learn some biology. Here what we can see is we've broken down the topics down into the subtopic, individually down into the learning objectives that you need to master in order to ensure that you achieve the highest grades. Today we're going to be covering enzymes and specifically we're going to learn about the mechanism of enzyme activity and how it works to engage with reactions. Before that, let's just understand what an enzyme is. An enzyme effectively is just a protein that catalyzes or increases the rate of reactions that are very important within the human body. For example, respiration, which actually allows you to create energy. How do they work? Well, enzymes have a specific shape. They're molded into a shape that is very specific and in each enzyme is a different shape. The reason is, its different shape enables it to have a specific active site. And this active site is perfectly molded, as we can see, to the substrate, which is the, the, the reactant that it speeds up the reaction of. For example, if this were an enzyme that increases the rate of respiration, we know that respiration requires glucose. So glucose might be a perfect fit for our enzyme here, and it will join into it sort of like a lock and key. And for that reason, we actually call this the lock and key model, because the substrate is perfectly fit for the enzyme. Once it fits in, it's able to speed up the rate of reaction. Okay, now this lock and key model means that you can't have an enzyme catalyze the rate of reaction of something else. Furthermore, there are many other uh, factors that affect how uh, effective an enzyme is. This includes the pH level, the temperature, the cofactors, as well as the presence of ATP. So how do they affect them? Firstly, we'll talk about temperature. So as we can see here, we might remember from chemistry studies that temperature increases the rate of reaction. And the reason simply is that when there's a higher temperature, things are moving around faster. And because they're moving around faster, they're going to be bumping into each other. And therefore, it's more likely that you have this enzyme that bumps into your reactant and is able to make the reaction happen. Okay, so now we know why temperature increases the rate of reaction. And if we look at this graph, where we see that there is temperature on the x-axis and there is enzyme activity on the y-axis, that as you increase the temperature up to this point, the rate of reaction drastically increases. Okay, and this optimum we should remember is 37 degrees. Okay, now as we can see, it actually starts to decrease after that. Why does that happen? Because if we go back to our enzyme, what happens is if there's a really high temperature is the shape starts to get distorted and it's no longer fit for the substrate that it increases the rate of reaction for. As a result, it's no longer able to increase the rate of reaction for that reactant. Now, there are a couple of things that we need to ensure we're mentioning in any exam answer for uh, asking about this question. Firstly, we need to be mentioning the complementary fit between the two. So thereafter, we'll be talking about the active site being complementary in shape to the substrate and when they bind, we need to be mentioning an enzyme substrate complex that then catalyzes the reaction. These are underlined in the mark scheme, meaning that if these words are not mentioned, you will not be able to get the marks. Okay, now let's talk about a few other factors that affect how an enzyme works. Firstly, we have pH. pH is simply how acidic or basic the environment is for the enzyme. Different enzymes operate under a different optimum pH level. For example, in our stomach, it's a very acidic environment, so it only makes sense for enzymes to work well at an acidic level. The opposite is true in our gut, where it's a very basic environment, and therefore enzymes that work at a high pH tend to do better. Generally, enzymes work best at a pH of 7, because that is the neutral pH of the human body. Secondly, we have the concentration of the substrates. It makes sense that if you have more of the reactants, that they're more likely to bump into the enzyme. And as a result, you're more likely to have a reaction take place. 
Thirdly, you have cofactors. What are cofactors? Effectively, they're just other chemicals that can bind to the enzyme and change its shape. Sometimes these cofactors can change the shape in a way that enables the reactions to happen more effectively. So, of course, if you have more of these cofactors, it's going to increase the rate of reaction. And lastly, we have the presence of ATP. Effectively, ATP is just a uh, chemical energy for the cell. You can imagine it's just uh, the currency that cells use to actually uh, have reactions take place. And so there are some reactions that need energy to happen. And so if you don't have ATP, then the reaction is not going to occur. So let's summarize the main concepts. Firstly, enzymes have a very specific shape for a specific type of reaction and for a specific substrate, and that shape enables the reactions to take place. If the shape isn't perfectly fit, it's not able to catalyze the reaction. Secondly, as temperature increases, the rate of reaction increases up to an optimum point and then starts to decrease. And the other factors that affect enzyme activity are pH level, concentration of substrate and the presence of uh, the presence of cofactors and the presence of ATP. At the end of this topic, I'm going to be assigning you a test to make sure that you understood it right. So one example of a question you might receive is a three mark question asking about how enzyme activity is affected by temperature. In this case, it's essential to mention that as temperature increases in uh, as, as the temperature increases, the rate of reaction increases as a result of the increased uh, kinetic energy of the enzyme and the substrate, which increases the chance that they're going to join together. So mentioning this will give you two marks. And finally, you have to mention the decrease in rate of reaction as the enzyme starts to become denatured due to the temperatures being too high. Thank you very much.